hi guys very good evening to you uh, welcome to the video number 274 and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to uh, create the different different reports from the pivot and this is going to be the part 2 my name is Ajay and uh, uh, we are on the video number 274 so for those who are watching the channel for the first time please go and you know click on the playlist and guys you can see here all the different different playlists we have uh, 42 playlists created for the different different you know the categories like we have the videos on the excel we have the videos on the excel vba access access vba so you just need to scroll it down and you would see all these different different playlist and under each playlist we have several videos a uh, combination of basic intermediate and advanced level videos right the video which i'm talking about right now is uh, that you will find in this playlist called excel charts and pivots if you if you know the pivots very good you can definitely go ahead and watch this video if you don't have any idea about the pivots then before you watch any other video or even this video you know what you need to do is uh, you need to see this video number 273 create pivots from the beginning the part one right so you can um, once you have a look on this video you would understand that how we actually create the you know different different uh, the, the the pivot uh, the different patterns and uh, what are the things you are actually supposed to take care of while making the pivot so in this video this is going to be the part number two as i already said so i have prepared some questions for you and uh, we will try to answer these questions and when we are going to answer these questions definitely you will have a more confidence you know in making the pivot right provided you actually have already watched the previous video or if you are okay with the pivot if you already know the pivots good to watch this video guys right okay so i'm using the same database uh, which i used in the previous video so we have the manager name we have the associate name answered and the abandoned and the date this is a kind of a call center industry data so customer care data you can say and uh, we have here different different associates uh, you know and with their managers and then how many calls they have answered and how many calls you know are abandoned by them maybe you can say that disconnect you know the calls which gets di disconnected and these are the dates right according to the date we have these things so in this video uh, we are going to answer all the four questions i'm not going to tell you about how to create the pivot because that is already we have discussed so in this we're going to answer these questions so let's go ahead and first of all let's answer the question called question number one we need to find the manager wise total calls answered using this database right so let me on the sheet six write this question so here we are going to make the pivot now what you can do is you can simply go to the insert click on the pivot table and in the pivot table select a table so you need to select this table i'm going to select this my complete database so as you see that i have selected the database which starts from a1 and you know it lasts at e28 cell so you just need to click on ok once you click on the ok you will get this pivot and pivot field i have already talked about all these things so now we need the manager total you know the calls so what we will do we will drag the manager name here and we got all the names in the row and then we're going to drag it in the calls answer and there we go the pivot is done but we would like to definitely change this row label we would like to give it a header so guys you need to click on the design provided you you, you know you should be on the pivot pivot any cell because only then you would see this pivot tables tool option so just go there and uh, click on the report layout and we are going to use the show in tabular form once you click on that this is how the table looks like so this is the first question very simple question right and you can go to the design and you can you know give the any choice of your you know whatever choice you think that it's looking good you can do that not a problem in that right and as i said you can actually remove the sum of the calls answered as well so you can simply remove this delete keep the space here because of the reason that if you don't you know if if you write here calls answered with no space pivot will not allow you to do that because call answer is my actually header of my table and you cannot use the table header so you have to either change the header in the pivot or i have just what i have did I have just entered one space here and this is not really you know going to make any difference maybe you can add further you know just to align it in the center so this is the first thing now let's go to the sheet 7 and uh, 
let me see that what is the question number two so the question number two is associate wise total abandoned from max to min so we want to actually target those associates who are disconnecting the calls right so that we can speak to them we can give the feedback to their managers let's say and we want to see that who is actually doing the maximum disconnect right so now this is really a compliance issue right generally in the call center industries you really can't you're not supposed to disconnect the calls anyways uh, so what we uh, are going to do um, I again go to the insert and the pivot table but before I do that I also want to tell you the shortcut key there is a shortcut key which is alt D and P right now if you press alt DP let's say I select this cell and I press alt DP this is you would get the window now this window looks a little different from the previous because this is a window which actually we used to have in 2003 right I'm using the 2016 version so anyways it they are all compatible with the higher version so what you need to do is you just by default the option which is right now you see that it's selected Microsoft Excel list just keep it like this just click on the next and you would get the range so again you need to go to the table and there you can actually select the table you select the entire table you click on the next and now you would see this prompt if you click yes you will save memory and your workbook file will be smaller if you click no the two reports will be separate so choice is yours basically what happens because you have already used this data in the sheet 6 so pivot intelligence is so strong that it's just trying to you know tell you that if you can click the yes then you will save the memory because every pivot actually takes a space in your memory because obviously pivot is what pivot is the summarization of the data and if you have a huge data then you know that means the pivot is going to hold that data right so I'm just simply going to click no right finish and the pivot would come here so now we need the associate wise so I'm going to drag this option here and then we need the abandoned call so we're going to drag the abandoned calls here and it is some of the abandoned because I need the sum of the abandoned if you want the average max main whatever you know you can choose all these different different operations here but we need the maximum we need the sum basically the idea is right now again I go to the design and uh, we would like to change the header so I say tabular form and uh, here we can see that uh, you know that's it abandoned and you can see that calls let's say so you can press enter now this is what exactly we need we need it in the descending order max to main right so guys in the pivots you can definitely do the sorting so what you can do is just select this cell which uh, is just you know right below to the abandoned calls header and then you go to the data and here you click on the sort so once you click on the sort this is what you will get smallest to largest largest to smallest now we need the largest to smallest right so just click ok and there you go now you have all the data in the sorted order or you can do one thing to sort you can also use alt ds okay this is the end of the shortcut key guys if i press here alt ds this is what exactly the same window would come right so you can say here that i need the largest to smallest or let's say smallest to largest then automatically the number will change so using this technique you can actually sort the things so let me just undo it and this is how you know you have a person oh that's me actually <laughs> i never knew that anyways so we have got these three people who are disconnected the calls right okay so that's another thing let's go to the sheet 8 and in the sheet 8 now again uh, let me see what is the next question so the next question which we have is uh, top three performers in call answered now this is very interesting we need to find out the top three performers right who has answered the maximum calls manager wise at the same time associate wise let me correct the spellings right now before I go further and I use the same technology like you know insert pivot or alt DP I want to tell you one more thing now every time you are selecting the table and it's very irritating so you can do one thing you can select your entire table like this and you go to this name box and give it a name so I'm going to give it a name called my data and press enter and the moment you press enter now to see that you know whether it actually has uh, whether we are able to create that name manager just click on this and select this my data the moment you do that you see that it has selected this so that means the my data is created now what does that mean if you go to the this is called the name manager name ranges we, we can define the you know name ranges if you go to the formula and you click on this name manager you would see that my data refers to what my data refers to sheet 5 a1 to e28 which is your data 
this is the data so anywhere where you write my data that means you are dealing with the a1 to a e28 right even if you press my data you see that it starts coming so this is really cool option now how are we going to use it so i'm again going to use alt dp and I'm, I'm going to click on the next and here now i will not choose the data manually i will not go in the sheet 5 i will simply write here my data because i know that actually represents the data which belongs to my sheet 5 so the moment you click on the next i click on the finish and you see that the same pivot is coming so this is pretty cool option guys right now we need the performance manager wise and associate wise so first of all let's have the associate wise so i'm going to click on the associate wise and because associates have answered the calls once we got to you know uh, once we get to have the three performers in from the top we will definitely can easily identify the managers that's not the problem at all because managers are not answering they are not answering the calls right so i go ahead and again i do this same stuff now this is more of like a first question but it has actually further you know one step which is a very important one first of all let's convert this into tabular form now once we have done that what is the next thing we want to do now i need to have the three top performers now to have the top performers obviously this has to be sorted in the descending order so i'm going to press alt ds and i'm going to make it largest to smallest so that my top performers should be on the top you know so i have these three people so i have here kumar suman and ajay who have answered the maximum calls right but we don't need these people that's also you know one of the thing we need to actually take here so how are we gonna do that so guys you keep your cell here just after your this associate name right click on this cell and then uh, we will have to find the option here called filter filter and go in the top 10 right i think even if you select the header you would get to see this option yeah it's there filter top 10 now once you click on the top 10 here you can change this number to three so i need the three numbers only so let me change to the three items now how do you want this because i have only one header obviously when you you know click on this drop down you won't see any other um, header because you have selected only call answered but just imagine if you have four five headers then this box gives you the you know flexibility this box actually uh, from this box you can select any of the option any of the header by which it is going to be you know picking up the three top items and because you have already sorted out the you know this pivot so that means the person who has answered the maximum calls you know he's going to be on the top she's going to be in the top so very important step if you're looking for the top three performers before you actually use the filter and top option you got to sort the data right and sort the data of the call answered so press ok now and there we go now you see that the pivot has automatically filtered everything for you now now the good thing about this is if you change your table for example let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, do some changes so what i will do i will actually uh, you know make this 2600 calls right now the kia should come in the top definitely so i come back to the sheet 8 and now you see that it's not there because it's very simple i told you in the previous video you need to refresh the pivot so once you click right click and you click on the refresh you see that the kia is all automatically coming here so and there is no other additional name coming right so this makes ensure the filter top 10 where we have changed 10 to 3 you know that that is going to make sure that we will never have the items more than 3 and because we have already you know set it in the descending order your pivot will always will always move in this direction it will also always be sorted in the descending order order no matter what changes you will have in your pivot right okay so now let's go to the another thing uh, so similarly we have the bottom three performance now one thing i forgot now you need the manager name as well so i mean it's very simple just right click show field list and just have their name so we can put the names in front of these people you know and there we go or you can do one thing you can just put the manager here as well it's all up to you so i would prefer that you know we can keep the manager name here right and we don't need the total because it has created the total so you can do this uh, you can go in the design and can, you can remove the subtotal i hope you remember this option if you have watched the previous video so the total is going to be removed and now this is how you know the things would look like so 
let's go to the next question the last question bottom three performance in call answered now guys again this is also the same stuff so we can do one thing um, I'm simply going to you know just pull this back and let's start from the scratch and uh, let's have all the elements here so what we can do is um, or oh, let me just do it from the scratch so let's delete the pivot so the pivot is deleted and I'm going to press alt DP next and uh, my data is my table name and I'm simply pressed finish all right now I'm going to use the associate name and we're going to use the call answered now in this case the call answered has to be sorted in the ascending order I select my this cell and I press alt DS and I'm going to keep it like this smallest to largest only right smallest to largest now these are the you know now it's sorted in the ascending order I again come here and now I right click and I see that filter filter my top 10 items and I'm going to simply remove this and I will write a 3 and sum of call answer will remain as it is so top 3 we will be needing it and so uh, top 3 so uh, let me undo this uh, we need the bottom 3 actually right so let me redo it I go to the filter and uh, top 10 and you're gonna choose here at the bottom right you have the option here with the bottom and uh, we're going to write 3 and that's it and as you can see that we've got the data and then rest of the things I mean you know the same things you can change the design you can go to the report layout it looks like you know you can do this tableau form you can if you want you want to give it some different color you can give it a different color so these are basically your bottom three performers right who who actually have answered the lowest calls from the top so we have Suzy 96 we have alum 127 we have Ritika 200 so in this way you will be able to find it out bottom three performers in call answered right so this is how guys you use the pivot so to summarize the reports right so these are the questions uh, which are also important from the interview perspective so I hope you have enjoyed this session and in the next video we are going to talk about uh, something else in the pivot and uh, till then you have your very good learning and if you have any questions let me know about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because if you subscribe to the channel it will definitely you know push me to upload the more videos on the channel thank you so much guys have a wonderful evening